<sighs> hey guys, how's it going? My name is Damriel, and we are just waking up in here, and looks like our summon taken medicine shop has spoiled completely. Well then, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> Actually, it's very unfortunate for us. Uh, we do have some food over here, I think. Grilled chicken breast and clam meat. I think we can... Yeah, I think we could probably eat that. I wonder where our food goes if it spoils. Does it go into inventory by any chance? Let's have some rabbit haunch as well. Oh god, we're headless. <laughs> I think our spoiled food goes into the miscellaneous folder. Let's see. Spoiled, spoiled, spoiled. Can't seem to find it. God, I have a lot of stuff in here. Good god. <laughs> uh... I wonder where it's at. It doesn't seem to be here. Maybe it's in the ingredients. Salt pile, taproot vampire dust, void salts. It's not in here, I know that for sure. It's not of potions. The only place it would be is like miscellaneous, but it's apparently not even here. Can't seem to find it. Anyway, the spoil food is gonna be somewhere. We'll eventually figure out where it's at in our inventory. Oh, there we go, there it is. We got four spoiled food. Ooh. Let's go and drop all that. We need to carry all that spoiled food with us. Let's have a lovely breakfast. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Thamriel. Welcome to Skyrim, where the adventures of Temeril the Argonian Hunter, the lone orphan who's made really a huge name for himself over in Foscar and in Skyrim in general. What do we got over here? We got some, uh, looks like, uh, some cheese. We can definitely take that with us. We don't need any ale with us, I think we'll be fine for now. We got Eevee, we got scared. we got a horse who somehow always follows us into the building. Vanilla, I have no idea what you do, bud. I really have no idea what you do and why you try to follow us all the time. And we have Sienna with us, which is always awesome to have a companion with us at certain point. Although, I kind of miss Serana. We haven't seen Serana in what honestly feels like forever. I feel like we need to go and look for her. She's either going to be over... With Dawnguard, maybe, probably not, because they have Vampire Hunters and she's a vampire. Or she's gonna be over in Markarth trying to get, you know, medicine for herself so she can recover. Or she might just be over at the manor by herself, by her lonesome self. We'll eventually end up finding her. For now though, our main mission is to go down here towards the southern areas. Probably we could swing by a boulevard, maybe, and just kind of hang out there. We'll probably take the uh, the western road, we'll just go down this road over here. I'm trying to aim the cursor with the control, it's a little difficult. Can I use my mouse with this? No, I can't. Okay, so we're gonna go down this road, and if you follow the cursor, I'm trying to do my very best with the controller, please bear with me. And we're gonna go down across the bridge, go past Bolvar, we'll probably go around it on the eastern side again. We'll try to see if we can over oh, try to go the... what? The, not the western, the eastern side, yeah, there we go, we'll go around to the left, and down, maybe a swing by the place, maybe check it out, maybe we'll just, you know, just continue riding through. We gotta go over to the docks and speak to Henrik, looks like we gotta rescue some people, ask about the boat, and get everything set up for ourselves as well. Also, there might be some islands for us out here to check out later on, which will be pretty awesome, just not gonna worry about it right now, right this minute. We gotta bring the journal back to Cavelli and let him know... What happened to his family? There's also apparently Stalgard we can check out later on, which will be pretty cool for us to check out. We're totally down. Looks like it's like a cool looking, cool looking ridge city. It's like down in a valley. That's kind of cool. We're gonna have to try to find a pathway to go up there, probably through these rocks. There's also over there the Mammoth Rock, which I think will have a giant that we need to slay for a a bounty, maybe. I don't know, we'll figure something out. Anyway, let's see if we can get a horse and uh, ride off into the uh, into the sunset, into the distance. Let me go ahead and quick save real quick. Alright. Let's go ahead and hop on a horse and start riding off in this direction. I f think I remember how to get there. I th think I know where we gotta go in order to get to where we need to. Maybe. I'm pretty terrible <laughs> with directions, so please bear with me. Let's see, let's put on our ebony sword so we can at least have some sort of protection in case we get attacked in the middle of the road. Let's go ahead and head over here. I think we just gotta head down this road until we find a bridge. If we find a bridge, then we're near the big city up on a plateau. I think it's a plateau. It's a hill or plateau, one of those things. Learned about this stuff back in a geography class that I took and I <laughs> haven't taken it since. And looks like we already got enemies. A wild, violent bear decided to be really awesome time to attack us here. 
see if it can sit up on a horse and kill it real quick. There we go. There we go. See, well, the bears, if we get down the ground, they can maul the hell out of us. So they would have the advantage. But since we're up on a horse, and armored horse, uh, mind you as well, that has a lot of armor that can actually withstand some of the damage. So, well, not really any damage because we the ones being attacked, it's not the horse being attacked. But still, it's a lot better for us to be on a higher ground so we can get some nice slashes on its back and its head. What do we got here? Pine Vale, Northern Pass, Boulevard. Wait, so there's a Northern Pass. That means there's got to be a way for us to, I think, maybe either climb this hill here or maybe go across over to the snowy area, the snowy ridges over there. Maybe. It looks like there might be like a fortification up there or something. You see that? Like that over there. Right there, what I'm pointing at. This thing, does that not look like a tower? It looks very much like a tower to me, personally. I don't know, we'll go over there next time. For now, I'm just gonna head down south, across the bridge, and see if I can head over to that little plateau with the city there. Still haven't learned its name. What is its name, actually? Might as well start learning this stuff, right? Boulevard. Oh, Borwald. Right? Borwald, okay. I can try to remember that. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm not gonna remember that for a while. Borvald, 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 and there's a off-beaten path. Do we take it? Do we not take it? It's a house over there. I kind of want to visit it, but I kind of not. You know what? Let's go visit it. Since we're already, you know, just kind of touring the place, might as well check out whatever we can, right? Let's go over here. Oh, we got a windmill and stuff. Looks like maybe it's a logging camp or something. Hello, Elk. What do we got over here? Reynodu Farmstead Discovered. Somebody got killed. <laughs> that Elk just died on the road for no reason. I'm not 100% sure why. Oh, that's a nice little quaint farm. That's kind of cute. I like this place. I like what it looks like so far. Are there any people here by any chance? Because so far I haven't seen a single soul. I got the windmill. I got the the water the I guess the watermill. I think that's what it's called. But no people so far. Seems pretty empty. We may come back here and you know we can probably come back here later. I think there might be a story to to be told here, but I'm not sure yet. No, you know what? Since we are here, we might as well go inside, check it out, just kind of investigate the area a little bit at least. You know, just look around the place for a bit. Let's go knock on the door. Reynold Farmstead. I wonder if somebody's inside here. They're just a farm in the middle of the woods. I got interested. Sorry, I'm just very curious. I want to know what's going on here. Plus, it's empty. It's barren. Well... The dinner table is set. That's for sure. Yeah, there's still no one here. I get the oblivion music playing as well. Hello? No one here, huh? Bunch of potion stuff we can take. Let's go and turn it on. Save real quick as well. Don't know how I feel about this place yet. Healing, healing. Bunch of gear we can take. Hmm. Let's get down here. Let's check out the downstairs area. Looks like... Oh. Oh. What do we have here? We have some blood. So something happened. Somebody, whoever lived here, got attacked. And then we'll drag down here because I see the blood stain. Oh, this is not good. Guys, sneak as best you can. Scale, try not to bark so much. Let me turn off the light as well. And see what the hell is going on here. Please help. If you're reading this, and now that my wife and I are at home, then we are in trouble. Look behind the crate in the back right corner of the shed behind our house. You'll find all that you need there. What the hell? 
You can see the quest here. Get the key from the journal outside. This requires key we can't enter just yet. What the hell is going on here? Oh, Sienna? Any thoughts? Probably not. Can I actually ask her what she thinks about the situation? Oh, hello. I need you to do something. Okay, what is it? Can I get her input on stuff? No, I can't. Never mind, I'm not gonna ask her anything. Alright, this is this is kind of spooky. Evie, Evie buddy, I need you with me in this situation. I don't know what's gonna happen, but you know what? Something's gonna go down. I know that for sure. I can already tell. Something's already gonna be going down. God, the spider looks... Oh, gee, I hate spiders in Skyrim. Oh, oh Jesus, make... <laughs> Sends chills down my spine just looking at that thing. Okay, where did that thing go? It looks like it's behind a house there. Let's go over here. So what is happening here? Behind the house in the shed. How does one get in the shed here? Maybe you gotta go on the other side. Now loop. Let me check the other side here. Is there an entrance? Yep, there is. So behind the crate. A journal. And a key. Like that door and enter the cellar. Entry one. We're expecting an excellent yield once again this year from the crops. This is wonderful. The gods have looked favorably upon us yet again. Looks like I shall finally expand the cellar to meet our growing productivity. On the morrow, I shall run to town for supplies. Annika and I are very lucky, I'm guessing as the wife. I shall go send word to Jalma and Amber Creek. She always enjoys good news from this area. Entry 2. Today I was digging in the cellar to expand it outward, and while digging, broke into some kind of chamber. It was pitch black and I couldn't see anything inside. Annika and I have sealed it off for now. Who knows what could be down there? Entry number three. We've had to rework our cellar expansion to accommodate for the recent findings. I threw a torch in it and saw what looked like Nordic ruins. I wonder if we could get one of those scholars down here. They may pay us to explore it. I wouldn't say no to some extra coin. Nonetheless, we have kept it sealed. It could be full of Draugr or spiders, or worse. Draugr or spiders sounds pretty bad already. How could it be worse? Actually, I, I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> Bigger spiders and spider jogger? <laughs> Probably, that'd be my worst nightmare ever. Entry 4. We did not get a restful night's sleep. We heard all sorts of god-awful noises coming from the hole in the cellar. At one point, we thought we ha heard scratching, like something was trying to escape. Poor Annika was horrified. Honestly, I was a little scared too. I'm a farmer, not a fighter. I fear for our lives. If something comes out there, I may not be able to protect Annika. Entry 5. More noises last night. They were far more intense and loud than the night before. Annika is scared half to death. She spent all day outside and has a very hard time falling asleep. I think I'll hire some mercenaries later today to take a look. That way, we can put all this behind us and finally figure out what's down there. Entry 6. They have to be dead. They must be. I paid two large Nords, a Red Guard, and an Orc to take a look today. It was silent for several hours, then we heard the most dreadful screaming. It stopped after a few minutes. They must have been attacked. It's the only explanation. I have more permanently sealed hole I have more permanently sealed hole up with planks and bolts. We won't have any more of this. We would pack up and leave, but we can't lose the farm. Not this close to harvest. Annika has calmed some since I sealed it off. Hopefully we can forget about all this. I just hope the guards don't come by asking about those men. God, how many entries we got here? Okay, this is the last one. Sorry. <laughs> Entry 7. I must go in. I heard screams while I was outside working the field. They... They took Annika. I don't know who or what they are, but they have her now. They broke through the planking. There is a fair amount of blood and I fear for her life. I will write an extra note and leave it before the cellar door. I must then seal it off so that nothing can escape. I've never fought anything in my life, and I fear I will do no good. Hopefully, it's just rabbit wolves. That's still bad, 
but it's far less severe than the other possibilities. Yeah, the spiders and rock are pretty bad, yeah, definitely. If you find my other note, and I'm not present, then I have failed. Please, get help. Or if you're of able body yourself, try to help us. Even if we are captured or injured, we might still be saved. Plus, whatever is down there must be dealt with. If it escapes to the surface, it could be bad news for others, especially Borvald. May the Nine watch over me. Oh, hopefully he's still alright. Guys, uh... Hello? Sienna? Oh, guys, oh, she's she's getting a little too excited there, Sienna. Guys? Everybody? All the little critters? We have a rescue operation, guys. We have a rescue operation. We're gonna go inside. Horse, vanilla, stay over here, buddy. We're gonna go inside, open the cellar, and check out what the hell is down there. I'm a little worried. I, I, will, not, I will not lie, I'm a little worried, especially if it's spiders or Draugr. I'm hoping it's something simpler, maybe like skeletons or wraiths. That's something we can easily deal with. Preferably, I like to take care of this thing as fast as possible, get it done and over with. Hopefully, rescue somebody, whoever may still be alive down there, either the man or the woman of both, preferably. And then advance further. Oh, there it is, isn't it? Got a bunch of tools here, a pickaxe, and all that kind of stuff. Let me get a lantern on. So the blood leads all the way there. Search the cave and find out what happened to Renaldus. Just for this, I'm gonna put on my bow of shadows. I probably should also put away my travel lantern. Just so I'm not noticed or seen. I'm seeing lots of spider whoops, I'm guessing there could be spiders in here. Also, I see all these weird effigies. So that must mean that maybe, possibly, we might have to deal with some Falmer. Maybe. I know those effigies are pretty common for Falmer, personally. This is probably what mercenaries to camp right before they entered the place. Save yourself. It got them. It took the others. Only there was more than one. There were so many. They fought back, but it was no use. I'm hiding right now. It's how I survived. Oh, by the nine, they're coming back. Oh gods, help me. Here they come. And then the note stops. It's always so dramatic. I mean, sad. I, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to... Dem oh my god, that is awesome. Oh, wait a minute. I want to see stats, stats, quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay, bow shadows 37. An exotic bow. Oh, 37 as well. Huh. Well, they actually have the same stats. Except one, I think, is a little heavier. Yeah, heavier, but costs a lot more. And looks really, really nice. Actually, not as nice as my current bow of shadows, but you know what? This actually looks pretty cool. Looks pretty phallic on the ends, but uh. Oh, it does actually look phallic. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright then. It's a very phallic bow. Lovely. Let's see if you can go in here. So whatever got them, it really got them, didn't it? And we're getting thirsty and hungry. But nope, we have to press on. More of those effigies. Let's head down here. Look out for any enemies. Looking out for every possible movement I can possibly see. Even though it's so dark and murky. It's really foggy down here. Let me go ahead and quick save. Hopefully we can find somebody here. So far we got some pretty decent loot. We got an exotic bow and we got an ebony helmet. That's pretty awesome actually. A hired mercenary, huh? We found one of them, a strange sightings. I should probably check that out. Let's go and read that real quick. The strange noises have increased infrequently. Olin is worried, and um, Fjarik swears they saw a person at the far end of the large cave room. Only he says he couldn't have been a person. It was too weird, misshapen. It kind of freaked out all of a sudden, or freaked us all out. Then Olin reminded us that we are tough, and if it comes down to it, we'll just kill whatever it is. Sounds good to me. Is there more pages by any chance? 
Nope, that's the only one note. Yep, this is definitely a former place. Every structure here practically screams former. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sam Rio. Welcome to the Hello, what have we got here? Hello ladies, how's it going? Breasts as a treasure thing yet. <laughs> I kinda wanna say you could rest better. Mm. <laughs> 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 